In this video, I will show you where to find file download data in Google Analytics 4. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to the Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with GE4, then consider subscribing to the channel. By default, Google Analytics 4 can track not only page views, but also when someone downloads a file on your website. But finding file download data in reports might be challenging for beginners. So let's take a look at how can you do that. If you go to the admin panel of your Google Analytics 4 property by clicking here and then go to the property column and click data streams, then select website data stream, here you will see the enhanced measurement section. This feature is responsible for tracking some additional events, not only page views. And by default, it is enabled. And if I click to show more, one of the events here is file downloads. If you don't see file downloads here, then you should click on this gear icon, then enable file downloads right here and click save. From that moment, Google Analytics 4 will also start tracking file downloads. This means that visitors on your website click links that open files such as PDF or Excel files or something else. So when this feature is enabled and you have been collecting event data for a while, at least for 24 or maybe 48 hours, then in your reports, engagement and events section, you will start seeing some events and one of them will be file underscore download. And if I enter that search keyword right here, I will see the event here. But here's the problem. If I click this event name, I will not find anything right here that is related to what kind of file was downloaded. Right now, I just know the fact that this many users collect links and the total number of file downloads is this one. But what is the most important to me is which files are downloaded the most often. Maybe in the future, Google Analytics will change something. But right now, if you want to see that information, you need to go to explore and then build a custom report where you can see what kind of files were downloaded the most. So click blank. And here we will need to add several dimensions and metrics. So first, let's start with dimensions, click plus, and then enter event and select event name. And then another dimension starts with file. In fact, there are two dimensions available. So this will return the file name while this will return the extension. For example, if the file was PDF, then this dimension will return the word PDF. In my case, file name is enough. So I will click this checkbox and then click import. And then in the metrics, I will click the plus and can add several dimensions. For example, event count and then total users click checkbox and then import. So without hesitating, I can add these two metrics to the tab settings column. And I can do that just by double clicking. So double click one, double click another one. Then in the rows section, we should add the file name dimension. So you can either double click it or drag and drop it right here. I will double click it. And here I will see the most popular files that are downloaded on my website. However, the first line is empty. This is happening because this report right now shows data not only of the file download event, but it shows data of all events, which includes video events, outbound link clicks, scroll events, and so on. So we need to narrow down and filter only those events that are file download. By the way, below this video, you will find a link to a documentation about enhanced measurement events. And here, one of the events is file download. So this is the event name that is automatically tracked by GE4. And here are some of the parameters that are tracked together with that event. So let's go back to the exploration and create a new filter. Since I have the event name dimension here, I can click it right here and then select event name. And then I'm looking only for the data of those events that exactly match file download and click apply. And here are the most popular links that were clicked on a website. And we can see how many times was each link clicked and how many users clicked those links. Currently, when I'm recording this video, you cannot change the size of columns. That is why if you want to see the full URL, you will need to hover your mouse and then a tooltip will appear with the full value. Also, you can try hiding these two columns right here by clicking these dashes, and that will increase the size of a column by a little. And that is how you can view file download data in Google Analytics 4. 
If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.